Hey, hey, all you crazy dino chompers. How's it going out there in Jurassic Park? Hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. I'm coming back at you with another video today. It's old Pappy, and I'm going to be talking about beacon smashers, beacon crashers, beacon cappers. Can you win a game? That was the question I asked myself when I when I launched a game the other day. I, I actually challenged myself. I said, can you guarantee a win by focusing 100% solely on capping beacons or smashing enemy beacons? And so I thought I'd go out there and, and give a try. And, you know, it's been a couple of days since I, I posted a video. I had... I'd, uh, I posted a video about my very first ever gameplay. You can probably find it in, in my uh, on my channel there. And then I did one about the Reaver. And this one's going to be about the Reaver as well, but only in the context of it being this tiny little guy running around on the battlefield. Sure, it's equipped with a weapon, but it's not really meant for that. It's meant to cap those beacons. And so I'm going to get right into it here. We're on this uh, beautiful, beautiful looking map. Um, really, really great. There's lots of cover and foliage everywhere for me to hide in. Um, you know, one of the things you got to do when you're, you're, you're playing beacon mode is you got to just be, get in that mindset, right? Is that I'm constantly scanning. If you look on the right hand side up on the top corner of my screen here, you can see the, the map overview. And the beacons that we have capped are in blue, the ones the bad guys have are in red, and then there's all the white ones which are uh, not capped by anybody yet. And so what I'm doing is I'm basically just looking at that map, and as soon as I see one that's white, I'm going to run straight up to it. And the way you cap them is obviously, um, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's kind of the same as War Robots, but there's uh, you run into the circle and you cap it. Now, if I run into, you saw the little word there, it said contesting. Um, when you run into an enemy one, suddenly it's up for grabs and you really are cut usually in a big firefight. And the other thing I really like about this game, which is kind of a cool concept that I wish that they would bring into War Robots, is that you've got to see, you've got to kind of destroy those glowing little triangles there. And if you own the beacon, they're glowing blue. And if the other if the bad guy's got the beacon, they're glowing red. Anyway, one of the funny things you're going to find here is that guy, uh, I don't know if his name is Vamos or whatever it is, that no good bastard, he basically kills me at least seven times in this game. And that's another thing that we need to understand that's a little bit different about this game than, say, a War Robots. That was kind of dumb. I ran right into the wall there. I couldn't actually see where I was going. Um, but one of the things that's very different than, say, War Robots is that you can keep using the same bot over and over and over again. But there's a cost attached. And it's that, um, that weird currency you see in the upper left-hand side of my screen under my name, Old Pappy. Every time I do something positive on the battlefield, every time I cap a beacon, every time I kill a robot, or... Jeez, I keep saying that. Every time I kill a dino bot, um, that number keeps going up and up. And why does that matter? Well, it matters because you need uh, that type of that type of currency to launch your 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 dinos in your hangar. Usually, there's one that's almost free, and then there's another one. Uh, the cost grows and grows and grows the larger the the dino is. And I think Pixel brought that in to try to stop people from just spamming the battlefield with nothing but gigantic titanosauruses or tyrannosauruses or whatever it is. Sort of like in War Robots, if you're familiar with Titans, and now there's a big debate in the gameplay, right? It's sort of like, ah, oh, it's not fair, the Titans are, uh, you know, it, it, they come into the game too soon and then they just stomp on all the, uh, all the little tiny bots and they win the game. So that's sort of the idea behind this. But anyway, let's get right into the gameplay here. So how are we doing here? Well, we're already winning on the beacon bar. Damn it, there's that Vanes or Van Vanez. Vanez is his name. He's my arch enemy. I've decided I hate him and I'm going to hunt him down to the end of my days, but just not in this video because this is all about beacons. And so I spawn in. I immediately use my ability, which is sort of like this chompity do thing. I push the button and I can chomp the guy. And I'm looking at the beacons. Look at that. We have all five beacon so you can see that on my map up there and so what I'm doing now is I'm going to try to keep my eyes peeled um, for beacons that are being contested and you can see that center beacon there there's there was like at one point two or there they are three guys attacking the same one so I'm gonna just basically get in here first now this is another cool thing check this out look at that these beacons heal you. That's another thing that is different than war robots that I really think that they might want to bring in. So you can keep running back to your beacon and healing as long as it's not contested, right? As long as a, a, an enemy is not in that circle and it's blue, then you can run and you can get healed up. And that's something I quickly learned after a few games here is that instead of, uh, instead of just running around like a ding dong and basically getting killed every three seconds, you can kind of you can kind of 
stay close to a beacon, zip out, almost like you're, you're leaving your home base. You go and chomp a guy, give him a little chompity do. Um, how do you like me now? There's a guy coming in to contest my beacon. I'm like, get the hell out of day here, man. But look at my dad. Oh, see that Dan. Ah, he's my ah, my arch nemesis. He does it again. He's my Newman to my Seinfeld, I think. Oh man, I'm talking so much. I need a cup of coffee here. Anyway, let's get back at it. So this Van Ness guy is really pissing me off here. He's killed me at least three or four times now. Um, I hate to break it to you, he's probably going to kill me three or four more. Why? Because I don't care about killing things right now. Um, I'm going to shoot and chomp things to get in my way, but my goal is to get over here. I'm looking at the beacons, and uh, we, we're still up four to one. So the way you get the cap of beacon, you got to turn around, you got to smash these things. So I'm just, I'm shooting them, you start to crack, you see the glass, and then they turn gray. Once you shoot them all, it only takes a couple seconds for it to basically transform into your beacon. Now look at my health, my health is getting pretty low, got to dodge in here, I get the little healing signal, some arsehole who has a stronger bot than me and better weapons is shooting at me, and I'm mad at him, but I'm going to save my anger to another day, because I'm all about beacons today. Oh, look at this, a guy just capped my beacon on the far left hand side, I'm using the map to orient myself, um, hiding in the bushes, chomping a couple guys, chippity chomp, going to get some more health, going to get healed up here. And then now they, look at that, now they got two beacons. It looks like they're all spawning far on the far left-hand side of the uh, the map you see up in the upper. Oh, jeez, look at that, the flames coming out. Oh, get out, go away, get away. That's one of the things when these guys are in the late game of this, uh, of this app, of Dino Squad. You'll see more and more and more guys are just switching to these huge, gigantor-style dinosaurs. And I got to admit, some of them are pretty deadly and dangerous because uh, there's a, guy, a lot of guys that are playing more than I am. I just don't have a lot of free time right now. And so I'm noticing that some of the guys that are starting the same time I did already have unlocked some of these really strong uh, dinos and some of the better weapons. Whereas I'm still using the basic crap that they gave me when I uh, when I opened the box here. I'm using the same little pea shooter uh, 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 shotgun on my Reaver. I think my Reaver's like level four, but I don't have any more um, currency to upgrade them. And the uh, same goes for my other bots. I, I think I have just whatever that came straight out of the package here. I got the Ankylosaurus and a duck bill. Um, and I think it's called an Archon. And I have, I did get, I did unlock a Tyrannosaurus. But he literally, literally looks like an alcoholic Tyrannosaurus um, or a Tyrannosaurus hobo who lives in a cardboard box down by the river. Because, I mean, he just looks all beaten and battered up. But check it out. Look at that. Look at that. So what did I say? Look at this. I got six beacons myself. I also smashed three of the enemy beacons. We got victory. And uh, look at that. I got the uh, I got the, the highest tower damage of anybody on our team. So look at that. Victory guaranteed. So that's just a really short video. I just wanted to show you guys the potential of this Reaver and a type of gameplay and a game style that maybe be more to your liking than just walking around, uh, you know, lumbering in a giant bot and chomping everything that comes near you. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. If you do, hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Uh, keep your eyes peeled to my channel. Um, hit the notification bell. I'm going to be doing at least one or two videos on Dino Squad a week um, and also doing my War Robots videos. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.